Uh, Nick Sorensen, I guess, pushed back on Bosa. I guess he pushed back on it. I got to listen to Nick Sorensen. He's pushing back on players? All right, Nick Sorensen. Uh, I don't think it was something we didn't adjust. I mean, we started changing some of the calls, and we did mix up whether it was too high or brought pressure. So I thought we talked about it on the sideline, what happened on that one play, and I don't think it was really any breakdown or miscommunication on not adjusting late because we were changing things up and you know getting different looks with our shell and with bringing different types of pressures as well. So that's Shanahan and Sorensen this week, the defense coordinator of the 49ers. Push you back on what Nick Bosa said early in the week, saying, "Yeah, we need to adjust better." Blah 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 blah. Are you insinuating blah, blah, blah. we have a Bosa problem? No, Bosa just needs to play better. That's all I'm saying. My, my the clip that you no, guys. I'm clipped, saying a Bosa accountability problem. I he needs to be accountable. Okay. I've yes. been saying this for two years yes. now. Yes, you just brought up, you know, and, and this is it, it made me think. I was like, damn, it's been a while. When did he ha- last have an impactful game? And they win. So they've played a month of football here. They played a month of football last January, a month of football in December, and we go back to Thanksgiving night. That's almost three months of football, of football games, where he has, has yet to have a signature game. Mm. And at the summit, at Free My <laughs> Bank. Free My Bank. And Kyle Matz is coming in. He offered everybody coffee. Kyle, I don't need coffee, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I'm good. I'm already ready to roll. I didn't, even need, I didn't need coffee today. Breakfast burrito. Uh, I, I'm, I'm going to get breakfast a little later. I'm, I'm fired up. I, 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 I've eaten nothing so far, and I'm, I'm ready to roll. I wish this game was kicking off in an hour. I swear to God, I'm so fired up for this game tonight. <laughs> Nick Posa, when it clipped the other day, we're, we're talking about him. When you're the highest paid defensive player mm-hmm. in football, again, I think he's the most important player. We talked about this at Fremont Bank at the Summit. We all went around the round table. Who's the most important player for this football team? Because I knew, like, the defensive line was going to struggle. Like, we kind of highlighted defensive lines. Like, boy, I'm a little worried about the defensive line depth. Boy, I don't know. Like, by the way, there's another clip of Chase Young lollygagging on the football field the other day. You know, remember we were talking about effort in the NFC Championship game? And he's lollygagging at Arrowhead Stadium? But he did have that first quarter in the preseason <laughs> against the Niners. <laughs> Can't did. be any worse than George Pickens. Mm. Well, Pickens has been a diva for quite a while. So... So, you know, but this is random. Do you want to talk about random, Shasky? Bonte, did you knock Zaza for his flagrant foul against Kawhi Leonard asking for a friend from the A5O? No, I didn't. He closed out. It's a tough basketball play, <laughs> you know? Zaza didn't deserve death threats. He's just playing hard basketball, man. <laughs> I mean, come on. No, I didn't knock Zaza for Our player, Will Clark. <laughs> it's a great slide on Jose Akendo. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Totally in line. No, I have no problem with it. You know what I'm saying? Matt Holiday. Put him in jail. <laughs> you know? You guys know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, I, know exactly, I know exactly what you're talking about. So, Nick Bosa, is it a must-win game? It's a lot of pressure. It's not a must-win because I'm stealing Kyle's team meeting thing because technically your season's over if it's a must-win. But uh, it definitely feels like it's uh, we're treated that way. Now, we talked about tackling. They missed 15 tackles last Sunday. What was the total number over the last two weeks? Well, 29. Two, 29 missed tackles it's over the, the last two weeks. It's the most over any two-year period in years. <laughs> wow, two-week period in years for Shanahan, For right? Shanahan, for yeah, Shanahan, yeah, yes, yep. please. Well, Sorensen doesn't think they have a tackling issue. We miss tackles sometimes because we're aggressive. Like, we do coach our guys to take their shots. If if you show, like, make me a cut up of those tackles, and I'll tell you if it's a good or bad one, to be honest. I mean, that's just, we play aggressive, we play violent. We have, you know, sometimes Fred shows up with quite a few missed tackles, but he's, if a guy stops his feet and he, they're having to take time and that guy loses a yard, but you kind of fall off, and now we've got two other guys coming, then that's not a bad missed tackle. Sometimes they're a little bit different. I'd have to quantify it by looking at tape. Then I could probably talk you through if they're good or bad or not. Oh, Nick, boy. it's pretty straightforward, bud. <laughs> Arm tackles where you're flailing and falling to the side, the, the, it's pretty straightforward. I, there is a huge difference between Fred Warner missing a tackle, who we all know is a heat-seeking missile, and Malik Mustafa coming in and trying to like <laughs> snatch the flag like he's playing like flag football against James Conner. <laughs> Love Malik Mustafa, <laughs> but like, come on. And Dre you. Greenlaw, uh, not Dre Greenlaw, uh, Devondre Campbell, I mean... <laughs> I've seen safety cones make bigger tackles than him. 
listen. Their side to side play. quickness is I, extremely explosive I, I, compared I, I, to him. I gotta listen to this one more, one more time from oh, Sorensen. We miss tackles sometimes because we're aggressive. <laughs> like we do coach our guys to take their shots. If if you show like make me a cut up of those tackles and I'll tell you if it's a good or bad one. To be honest, I mean that's just oh, we play aggressive, we play violent. We have you know sometimes Fred shows up with quite a few missed tackles, but he's if a guy stops his feet and he, they're having to take time and that guy loses a yard, but you kind of fall off and now we've got two other guys coming then that's not a bad missed tackle sometimes they're a little bit different i'd have to quantify it by looking at tape no. then i could probably talk you through if they're good or bad or not uh, uh, let's let's call baldy no. get baldy to no, cut no. up the missed you tackles you don't even need to do that Nick, did you watch the fourth quarter did you watch the fourth quarter that was that was the compilation highlight tape i'm like Poor my, Nick. My favorite part he's of that. He's thinking over his head. Well, he's he's also saying, he's like, yeah, I need to look at it. If you guys can send me that. I was like, you're not going to do anything if I send <laughs> no. that to you. You're, you're going right. to take and, and, hey, I would tell Nick, and Nick, all you have to do is follow one of the many millions of Niner fans on Twitter who are reposting the 10,000 missed tackles from the Terminator over the weekend. How about, hey, hey, Nick, how about the play where Kyler Miller said Deuce is at the line of scrimmage and ran 55 yards? Like, did, did you need to see a cut up of that? Don't listen. Uh, I, I mean, this guy's well, in over his head. Well, well listen, that was, I hear him, I go, was, you know what? Everyone's like, oh, Purdy's got pressure. Shannon's got pressure. Nick Sorensen's <laughs> job is on the line. <laughs> not, not, you not think I'm kid. kidding? No, no. Well, well, no, you thought I was kidding in week two. No, Spidoni. it's we're here. Remember, Spidoni, remember week two? I said, week two minutes, I said, boy, Nick Sorensen. When did we go start talking about him? Second goes already. Remember that spin on that? I was like, already? I said, oh, come on, man. You know what we did when the Niners won, went 5 and 0, and we were comparing the units. Who's better, defense or offense? All of a sudden, they lose three games in a row. They score 17, 17, 17, and all the heat went to Steve Wilkes. Every last bit of it. It was, <laughs> we excused everything offensively. So you thought Nick Sorensen. I Sorgen, can honestly say I'm sort of built for this. <laughs> oh I mean, I mean, he is built for this. He hung tough last year, Nick. And you know what? Steve Wilkes in that Super Bowl coached his ass off. Bonte. And Shedhead had to help. Uh, Nick so Sorensen, hold on. There's only one of two or three ways this goes. They pray to wow. God they get Robert. Sala back regular season, which feels so unlikely. Wow, but did, hold on real quick. My I watched it said our decibel levels are loud. <laughs> I got an alert. Exposure to... <laughs> yeah, you know what I do? I've had enough. Mute that for the day and move on. Because uh, that's the all the too, time. We're too loud. <laughs> I'm surprised that's the first time it's gone off. No, it goes off a lot in turn of show. Exposure to sounds below 80 decibel levels should not affect your hearing. Wow, repeated Shut long-term up. exposure to sounds above 80 decibels can lead to permanent damage. Consider using hearing protection or moving to a quieter area. <laughs> they lose tonight, okay, and the defense gets gashed. This is great. There's only going a couple directions. One of them. They pray to God Robert Sala wants to come back, and they they move his family out here, and they they figure out the whole thing. Like Jed, just just buy the man a mansion in Morgan Hill somewhere. Number two, <laughs> they just turn to Bosa and Warner, and they say, "Hey, why don't you guys just play DC?" Because <laughs> I mean, I, I like what else are you gonna do? Oh, oh say, what are their man. options? Or three, I guess you just let Staley take over. Oh gosh, the DBs don't have an interception don't have so far. To ask this year. That again. DBs don't have an interception, and Traverius Ward is questionable. Questionable. Yeah, I want to see Renardo Green tonight. Uh, tonight look, is a Renardo Green game. Well, well, you want to the rookie against these Do three wide receivers? we have to trust sets? the youngsters? Yeah. No, I'm tired of hearing Love this. It. Oh, the rookies. The vets are letting them down. No, Love Devondre it. Campbell is letting them down. Love that, it. Isaac Adam, before, the couple weeks before, he was letting them down. Play the rookies. Yeah, okay, Malik Mustafa missed some tackles, and I, and I was crushing. Hufunga missed... Made one of the worst angles on the Kyler Murray play that I've ever seen. The veterans have let them down as much as young players. I don't want to hear that the rookies can't play. You got to roll the dice sometimes. No, I'm you, with you. You got you got to just roll the I, I, well, dice you know and what? live with the growth, so that if you play them now, they're ready to go by week nine, ten. Like just well, you got to take a little one step back to take two steps forward. He's probably going to play. He's probably going to play tonight. Play the young guys. Put Platoon in. Tonight. Put Jalen Graham in. I'm tired of watching old, slow, upright linebackers. Uh, Ronaldo Green's probably going to play because Isaac Adams going to be on a short leash. Uh, we don't know if Trevor is where it's going to go. He's questionable with the knee bruise. If, if uh, Ward London. doesn't go, I'm telling you, I am playing. Well, he's going to play. No, he's I got don't no think choice. he's going to. I'm going to. Pl- I'm playing Renardo Green, and I'm going to say Diomino Lenore. You're shadowing whoever there. If it's DK, pick the guy you want to shadow. Stay with him. Renardo, get on the opposite side, and you had him in the slot. Let's go. That's what I'm doing. I just can't believe the D coordinator says, send me some clips and I'll qualify him as good or bad. This tackle. I mean, it's not a good sound. If I was in that point, I was like, whoa. 
Whoa, what are we doing? You that, and that when did he hit the podium? Was it Tuesday or Wednesday? Was it yesterday? Did he hit the podium? I don't remember because he already watched the game film, so he knows if it was a bad or good missed tackle. That was from Tuesday. Yeah, so he already had watched the Arizona film. He already watched it. Wow, that's that's not good. You that's not good. Me, you didn't fold the laundry. Well, if you show me a cut up of me folding laundry, <laughs> I'd you know I'd have a better idea of whether I folded the laundry Speaking or not. Laundry, I need to do the laundry. Maybe I'll do the laundry. Say, before laundry the is never ending. I know. It, there's me. a oh, bottomless hole of laundry. Oh, I know. That cut, Michelle says the other day. Hey, the laundry's done. I go for like a minute. <laughs> like, and then it's going to restart. The laundry's never done. It's like painting the Golden Gate Bridge. You get to the other end and yeah. you, you go back paint to it the over. beginning. Yeah. They, how much paint do they waste on the Golden Gate Bridge? Uh, love it. I need a, uh, before you get to the injury of all report. all the things this city's wasting money on, you're worried about bridge. the paint on the Golden Gate yeah, Bridge? Yeah, absolutely. They're always painting the damn and, bridge. And they should. No, they shouldn't. They let the paint fade a little it's bit. It's one of the few monuments right, that man, we actually have a lot of civic pride for. Paint it once a year. No, they do, paint it they once a year. Do paint it once a year. No, they paint it all year round. It's technically painted all year round, man. Well, They're doesn't like, the paint like protect the bridge itself too? Because then like rust builds you. in. There's a lot of salt thank air. You. Come on, guys, Trump, science. Come on, come on, man. I just there's so much paint we're wasting on. We're worried about all these problems. You sit here and do a sugar coat job. You know that's premium paint, so they're paying top dollar for that. The most wanted tickets in the Bay Area are here. It's Hip Hop Made the Bay Story T-shirts. Ja Rule, Bold Thugs, and DJ Quick. Friday, November 1st at the SAP Center. Tickets to sell at Fast Get yours now at Ticketmaster.com. Love it. Where For- is Ja? 49ers, injury report. What you got? All right. So, yeah, the uh, the ones we already know are out. Jake Moody, Talna Hufanga, Demetrius Flanagan Fowles, Jordan Elliott. They are all out. Uh, Charvarius Ward, he is questionable. Chris Conley, he is questionable. Jair Brown, George Kittle, Fred Warner, Jacob Cowing, they were all Full participants in practice yesterday, so it looks like they are going to be good to go. Uh, you want the uh, the Seahawks? Yes, oh, absolutely. Wow, that's a lot of names. On give, me, the give me the give me the Seahawks. Give me right. the Seahawks. Uh, Byron Murphy, uh, Uchenna Nwusu, and Rip Woolen. They are all out. Oh, Tyreek uh, Woolen's Tariq out. Woolen's out. Wow, okay. Tyreek Woolen, okay. yeah, cornerback. He all is right. out. He's got an ankle injury. Uh, Boy Mafe, linebacker. He is questionable with a knee injury. Julian Love, safety. He is questionable oh, yeah. with a hamstring injury. Wow. Derek Hall, linebacker, questionable with a foot injury, though he was a full participant in practice yesterday. Uh, let's see. Then everyone else looks like is good to go. Rayshon Jenkins, Kane's legend. He's good to go. Noah Fant, tight end, good to go. DK, he'll be playing. Brady Russell, he'll be playing. LaVisca Chenault, he'll be playing. Cameron Young, he'll be playing. Leonard Williams, he'll be playing. Jonathan Hankins with the hand injury that he's been a full participant all week long. That has been your injury report. Oh, LaVisca like Chenault, everyone thought he was the cheat code in fantasy yeah. like three years ago. Colorado, Colorado, and then he got jacked by Jacksonville. He had that one game that one time. Jacksonville. Rayshon Jenkins is a guy the 49ers brought in yes. to go visit at free safety. Um, he has a pick, I think, already. So Of course uh, he does. And, you know. And no, 707, I am not betting on this football game. No, 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 no. I do not bet on for No, no, no. I'm staying away from that.